Welcome back to Supremacy 6. It's episode 4 from the Deep South. Brought to you by LAMuscle.com, your exclusive sports supplements. I'm Mike Angove, and here we're here with Master Wapi, calling the hardcore MMA shots. Well, just like the crowd here in Dunedin, I'm excited. Well, it doesn't take much to get you excited, Master Wapi. And we've got a big card ahead of us tonight. We've got an international bout. Ruthless Robert Lasita versus Daniel Hooker from Sydney. And first up, we have this cruiserweight bout. Jax Masters, the 22-year-old, he's 82 kilos. He's undefeated after two fights. And he's up against Milner the Werewolf Opori. His trainer, Hiroa Tarangi, a fine sports veteran of all disciplines. He's 84 kilos, 180 centimeters tall. His MMA record, three fights, two losses. Background boxing and Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Of course, the rules of the cage, it's a three judges scoring the bout. Bout durations, three five-minute rounds, ten-point must system. And here we go, we're underway with Terry Hill. I'm really looking forward to this fight, Mike. I saw Jacques Masters fight in Supremacy 5. He's got an awesome afro. Look at it. Mate, that's an afro to ride home about. We can immediately see Jacques Masters. He's a conventional fighter. Going up against Milner Alpori the southpaw. Seems like he's uh, slightly the, the slighter of the two. Although looking at the, the weights, uh, he's a couple of kilos heavier. You wouldn't guess it by looking at it. I think uh, it's the, uh, the afro there. And he's got some powerful punches, some really heavy leg kicks. But it's not nice setting up there too with the, that stand up there, leading with the right hand and looking to loop that left leg around the lead thigh, the southpaw lead right thigh. Exchange of right hands, neither hitting the mark. Big leg kicks there from Masters. Again, a lot of these guys from Stroke Force, they're, they're well equipped in terms of their stand up game. They're pretty much the, the most versatile of, of the MMA fighting clubs in New Zealand. Of course, we'd expect some uh, versatility from Alpori as well. He says he comes from a boxing background. His trainer, Hirua Tarangi, also very adept in the stand up. Very sharp with his uh, kicks in particular. We haven't seen a lot of those, but we've certainly seen Jacques Masters really laying into that front thigh. Nice little nice counter right hand. hand. And of course, that's the, the lead for a southpaw to throw the right hand. Do you know much about southpaws, Mike? No, I've never seen one myself. Nice little counter jab by Alpori moving backwards. Oh, oh, nice oh caught hand. by a lead left hand coming in with the step up knee. And he's been rocked badly. Oh, there's some big punches there by Masters. Oh, Porter coming up quite well at this point. Looks like he must just go downstairs with the kicks or come up with the clutch. Oh, Porter's giving up. He's oh, just he going just, to ground. Just sat on his back there. That was very... Un and Terry Hill calls a, calls a time to the bout very early. He, he looked like he had the ability to sustain that, but it uh, didn't happen. There's that big left hook. Big left hook. Caught him coming in with the step up knee. Then Jacques Masters. As with most strike force boys, knows how to throw those bombs and he really laid it in, got into the ground and pound. And old Porty leaving Terry Hill with no choice but to call it off because he wasn't firing back. It switched off in his mind and that was all over. And you see, that's the danger of those step up knees too. You must be very cautious of your range. Terry Hill wisely calling it. I thought old Porty might have had the composure to stay there for a little bit longer. Jax Masters takes his record to 3 and 0. Oh. It went exactly how it was planned. And I want to thank the Lord for protecting me. And thank you to my trainers for letting me be part of this, my sport now. Thank you. Great performance from the Auckland base boy as we head into our international bout. Ruthless Robbie Lasita from the Lions Den in Sydney. He's 27. He's an experienced fighter with five wins and two losses. Up against Daniel Hooker, 20 year old, who's 69.8 kilos. He's had four fights and two losses. My name's Robbie Lasita, trainer at Lions Den Academy, Sydney. I'm the Luke Pizzuti, Justin Turtle. Uh, Daniel Hooker, Tukaha MMA in Auckland. I've had seven fights and five wins, two losses. Finished all my fights, first round. Two years, six, we had six fights. First round, second round, finish, stoppage. Whatever, I don't care, you know. I'm not going to predict nothing, man, except I'm going to stop him. Whoever makes the first mistake, that's how it ends. A couple of experienced fighters here, here in episode four of Supremacy Six. This is an international lightweight bout. Ruthless Robbie Lasita versus the local boy, Daniel Hooker, and we're underway. 
The setter starts things up with lead kicks. Throws that overhand right into the clinch. Goes for that takedown. That was pretty smooth, wasn't it? He moved clearly from, from a tie clinch into a quick single leg sweep and takedown, and now he's in top position. Is he's almost, got is the he, mount. Has he got him in a half guard? Oh, he's going to half guard. Yeah, a little bit difficult to see at this point. Look at like a, a heel hook. No. He's got him in... Uh, and still in the half guard. He's switched legs. Looks like Hook is trying for a sweep. Yeah, and uh, Lasita just trying to pass the guard, but uh, there's some long bony knees, and he's using those hips and switching them up to good effect. Oh, Hook is going to the bar. Doesn't boy, actually catch it. Not quite in the right position. Experienced fighter, doesn't panic. He goes the for Aussie it again. Boy. He's going for it again. And this one is in a little bit better position. Oh. Looking to get himself oh, no, out of trouble. Nicely Lucita's... switched over the top. He passes the guard. Now we're in uh, north-south. As we look down, it's been a busy minute of action on our Supremacy Fight Clock. Brought to you by MMAcare.co.nz. That's for all your hottest mixed martial arts brands. The biggest range, best prices at MMAgear.co.nz. There's a lot of work going on, looking for dominant position there by Lasita in, in particular as he moves into side control and he's got a knee right on. He threw a nice knee to the body as well, Lasita. Now he's just trying to capture, lock up both arms. Nice little hip back there. Back to 69. North South. Drops at the elbow, a couple of punches. He's doing a good job of scrambling though, Daniel Hooker, the local boy or the Kiwi boy. He's doing well to avoid heavy shots. Yeah, those annoying little shots that uh, Lasita's using. It looks like he's uh, looking for a guillotine Hook, in Hooker there. Hooker looks like he's going for a sweep. Or he's just going to stand up. Okay. I thought he was going to drop back for the guillotine there for a minute. He's got to be cautious now with his hands there. Notice he's putting the hand in there to block the knee. He's got to be very cautious because the knee's coming up. And oh, then there a, it is. And then there's a guillotine on offer as well. But he managed to pop his head out. The Cedar certainly looks to be the more aggressive of the two at this point. We haven't seen a lot from Hooker as he uh, thinks about a guillotine. He hasn't got enough leverage on the neck. The Cedar's just content to stick him up against the fence. Oh, nice knee up the middle. Couple Again. Them, unorthodox as well, but I think what we've seen too is a, a very fast start. Maybe the Cedar's just uh, having a bit of a breather. Gets a single. Oh, into a triangle. Oh, attempted triangle there. And back to north-south. And uh, Lasitha showing some, some good evasive work. He, he wasn't locked in. He, he knew what was coming. Managed to push that leg off across. And now he's back on top. Hooker just... Trying to work his long legs up again. Switching himself around. Good hip work, really. Now using his heels, too, just to keep Lasitha from getting a good leverage on those big bombing shots. The Cedar moving around into almost a side and control. Hooker again, Hooker again, again going for the armbar. Arm this one, uh, gosh, that was so close for a moment. He just needed to roll it over and stretch it out. Back into butterfly guard or no, into a... Well, there was a couple of attempts at different things there. And La Cita, oh, briefly there, he was in full mount. But the Hooker, very, very good with his hips and legs. Good flexibility there, just putting him back into a single leg guard. For a half guard. And now he's got him back in the full guard. A lot of composure from a couple of experienced fighters. Daniel's got those long legs, which is good for guard play. You'll see him bring his legs up, attempt to go for those arm bars, the triangles. Just sliding the legs up or attempting to slide the legs up right up underneath the armpits, which limits what the seater can do from the top. And nice tries with a short stiff right little elbow there. Both sides. Quite a versatile fighter, Lasita. He's doing well. He's getting top position, just controlling his opponent. He's the stronger of the two. He's been careless on a couple of occasions. There's probably been two or three armbar attempts. He's escaped them, but uh, as we come to the end of the first round, well, that was a pretty active first round. You'd probably have to give it to Lasita on the basis of his aggression.